You know what? I, I got to sing this song right here. I, I went into the studio here a while back, and on my new project, I, I needed one more song. And, and let me tell you how it came about. I was looking through an old hymn book. And see, I have a grandma and granddaddy that have done gone on to be with the Lord. And I miss them so much, and I long to see them. My granddaddy and grandma were so different, but yet they loved each other so much. I mean, granddaddy was the kind of person you ask granddaddy, how you feeling? And he said, I feel wonderful. I feel great. Always smiling. Granddaddy always had a smile on his face. You ask grandma, you might as well sit down. It's going to take about two days. <laughs> that was grandma, okay? Like I said, so different. But yet they loved each other. Grandma passed away. There's an old home place up there on the hill where they lived. And every time a cloud would come up, Grandma was scared to death. She'd want to come down and stay with us. And I know this for a fact. When Grandma passed away, my granddaddy sat out on the front porch. He'd look up at the old home place. And he would sing this hymn right here. And when I was in the studio and I turned that songbook open and I saw this song, it made me think of my granddaddy. And you know what? I know why he sang that song now. Because when Grandma passed away, he realized that heaven was so much more beautiful. Amen. And that was love. Let me share an old hymn with you that, that blesses my heart because my granddaddy used to sing this as he looked up at the old home place as he missed Grandma. I bet you most of you know this song. I bet you. We That's called heaven. It's made for the pure and the free. And these truths in God's word he hath given. And how beautiful heaven. No one sing it. How beautiful heaven must be. Sweet home of the happy and free. <laughs> That's us, folks.
by the hand and sing this chorus.